so my screen is visible sir yes okay so my topic is uh, pulmonary toxicity so hematopoietic progenitor uh, trans transplantation uh, pulmonary toxicity so here we can see objectives uh, mainly uh, causes of uh, pulmonary uh, complication during uh, transplantation and uh, associated uh, with the transplantation any pulmonary complication will happen so that we are going to see and uh, review nurse uh, assessment and intervention and uh, for pulmonary complication so pulmonary toxicity so mainly uh, major uh, complication so under that uh, etiology and onset so etiology infectious and uh, non infectious onset will be like uh, immediate and late next is uh, pulmonary toxicity etiology so what and all etiology will be there we can see here like infections and non infectious under non infectious we can see acute and chronic so under the acute uh, we can see pulmonary edema idiopathic uh, pneumonia syndrome so that is ips and uh, diffuse uh, alveolar hemorrhage we can see and pleural effusion so chronic uh, under the chronic we can see uh, bronchiolitis obliterators and uh, bronchial obliterators or organ organized pneumonia so that is a bop acute respiratory distress syndrome also we can see under the chronic so this uh, image we can see the timeline so when uh, at what day uh, the infection may occur like uh, this line um, like day 0 to day 30 we can see uh, pulmonary edema uh, diffuse alveolar hemorrhage and bacterial pneumonia and viral and candida and idiopathic uh, pneumonia syndrome so that is uh, day 0 to day 30 so and day 30 to day 90 uh, patients are prone to get uh, cmv activation cmv cytomegalovirus pneumonia and aspergillus and uh, pneumocystic tuberculosis pneumonia so that is tjp and uh, day plus 90 to day 120 so we can see bronchiolitic obliterations next is uh, what and all the risk factors for pulmonary toxicity so risk factors are uh, primary disease and uh, conditioning regimen and previous uh, any patient undergone any previous radiation immunosuppressant positive cmv and graft versus host disease pulmonary toxicity immediate after the hpct so that is non infectious and infectious So under the non-infectious, we can see airway and parenchymal. So pulmonary vesicles and infectious, we can see uh, tracheobronchitis and uh, pneumonia. Here in uh, pulmonary toxicity, non-infectious, we can see uh, airway. compression so that is a uh, mucositis and parenchymal under parenchymal we can see uh, pulmonary edema idiopathic uh, pneumonia syndrome and diffuse alveolar hemorrhage and pleural effusion so non infectious uh, toxicity airway under that uh, we can see muco mucositis so first uh, mucositis will happen like first it will affect the muc mucosal layer first it will injury will happen then patient will have uh, dys dysphagia so difficulty in swallowing so due to that uh, swallowing difficulty patient will have whenever he is swallowing pain will be there because of uh, he is not able to swallow like edema sometime edema also we can see and it leads to aspiration and uh, upper uh, airway block because uh, aspiration will mainly will happen uh, like uh, while taking so enlargement will be there 
so sometimes it can enter inside the respiratory tract and aspiration and blockage non infectious toxicity parenchymal so under that we can see uh, pulmonary edema we can see and uh, idiopathic uh, pneumonia syndrome and dha and pleural effusion so non infectious uh, pulmonary edema toxicity we can see so it can occur mainly like a uh, day day plus 7 to day plus 28 so risk factors are chemotherapy radiation uh, previous any radiation to the lungs and total body radiation and uh, any uh, cardiac pathology and hla antigen specificity pulmonary edema clinical manifestation so there we can see patient will be having dyspnea uh, sorry dyspnea tachypnea and uh, orthopnea chest pain chest pain will be there so mainly we can see the changes breathing uh, sounds we can hear this all three sounds rails and ronki and uh, dyspnea sounds we can hear and uh, this clinical uh, manifestation uh, patient will be having pulmonary uh, peripheral edema and weight gain will be there fever and uh, dysphagia will be there uh, hyp diaphoresis will be there Hi hypo hypotension will be there and mental change mental status changes will be there lethargy and restlessness so how we will diagnose so infiltration we can see and uh, plus or minus uh, uh, cardiac uh, enlargement so decreased oxygen saturation will be there and uh, management uh, diuretics fluid retention and supportive care respiratory support with oxygen so idiopathic pneumonia syndrome we can see non infectious uh, diffuse pulmonary injury and whispered uh, pulmonary damage will be there and median onset from uh, day plus 21 so high mortality rate we can see and uh, idiopathic uh, pneumonia syndrome risk factors are hematologic hematological malignancy the nilogenic uh, transplant unrelated donor age related and uh, total body irradiation methotrexate uh, prophylaxis acute gvht and uh, cytokines release so clinical uh, manifestation uh, non protective cough we can see uh, fever dyspnea and crackle sound and hypoxemia diagnosis uh, compatible features uh, clinical uh, features and uh, radiopath radiological investigation and non infectious etiology so management uh, treatment and outcome treatment corticosteroid uh, therapy and investigational agents and outcome we can see a high mortality rate so diffuse alveolar uh, hemorrhage here we can see acute uh, pulmonary uh, injury incidence viability and uh, primary primarily autologous and median onset uh, day plus uh, 12 engraftment risk factors are uh, radiation solid tumor uh, severe mucositis granulocyte recovery renal uh, insufficiency and acute uh, gvht clinical manifestation so rapid onset uh, dyspnea cough and hypoxemia fever progressive uh, progression of uh, respiratory failure hemoptysis diagnosis presence of uh, clinical symptoms and uh, ball test we will do and uh, exclusion of infectious infection management high dose of corticosteroids uh, supportive care transfusion respiratory support outcome high mortality rate
so pleural effusion so etiology ascites uh, capillary leakage uh, low pro protein and albumin infection cardiac and pulmonary dysfunction risk factors are uh, chest uh, chest radiation chemotherapy and malignancies clinical manifestation we can see the short shortness of breath the tachypnea chest pain fever and uh, non productive cough oxygen uh, deterioration desaturation diagnosis chest x ray same like last uh, what and all chest x ray ct scan echo echocardiogram ultrasound and uh, thorax synthesis management diuretics thorax synthesis chest uh, tubes eliminating causes and uh, progression prognosis immediate after post transplant uh, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation infections so here we can see tracheobronchitis and pneumonia under the tracheobronchitis aspergillus species and the candida species herpes virus so under the pneumonia bacterial viral fungal and parasites so uh, tracheobronchitis under that we can see tracheobronchitis mucosal injury and late to aspiration and upper tract infection bacterial pneumonia common organism pre engraftment bacterial pneumonia gram negative that are like uh, pseudomonas klebsiella pneumonia and enterobacterium coli gram positive staphylococcus aureus and uh, pre engraft post engraftment uh, paras persistent uh, immunosuppressant and uh, streptococcus pneumonia and uh, hemophilia influenza clinical manifestation uh, cough fever dyspnea hypoxemia and radiation findings alveolar consolidation and blue arrows diffuse involuntary so here uh, management antibiotic we will use and respiratory support oxygen saturation and supplementation supplementary oxygen and supportive care under the infectious fungal uh, we can see candida species and aspergillus so candida species common a pathogen organ involvement we can see and uh, frequent uh, species candida albicans and uh, candida tropicans pre engraftment onset uh, will be like uh, day 15 day plus 15 clinical manifestation we can see fever chest pain cough and uh, diagnosis uh, sputum culture chest uh, ct and uh, ball test and open uh, pulmonary biopsy management anti fungal treatment supportive care and respiratory support high mortality rate we can see aspergillus uh, high mortality rate common are uh, aspergillus uh, fumigates and uh, aspergillus flavus occurs day plus uh, 14 like portal entry mainly risk factors are uh, prolonged neutropenia gbhd uh, corticosteroids immunosuppressant and uh, patients who are like uh, low uh, neutropenic patients staying in construction area any plants and flowers and any hla dispensary management uh, clinical manifestation we can see chest pain persistent on and off uh, fever and cough dyspnea wheezing hemoptysis and oxygen desaturation diagnosis uh, radiographic studies ct scan chest x ray when that we can see halo and uh, open pulmonary biopsy 
management uh, prevention and treatment prevention mask and hepa filter and environmental control so we should avoid uh, construction plants and flowers and uh, treatment antifungal therapy supportive care viral causes uh, cyto cytomegalovirus and hsv and rsv and common uh, community acquired uh, infections are influenza a and b and uh, para influenza cytomegalovirus uh, clinic significantly pneumonia peak days are uh, day plus 21 to uh, day plus 80 risk factors are uh, cmv zero positive and uh, long term immunosuppressant total body radiation and uh, atg and t cell depletion and gvht and uh, blood products clinical manifestation uh, non productive cough we can see fever and progressive dyspnea and hypoxemia management or uh, diagnosis ball test and open uh, pulmonary biopsy treatment antiviral therapy prophylaxis and uh, pre promotive respiratory support and supportive care other common viral causes uh, hs v and uh, rsv and other viral uh, community acquired viral infection influenza a and para parasites uh, are tjp clinical manifestation clinical features we can see tachypnea and uh, dry cough fever dyspnea and rapid respiratory uh, deterioration diagnosis and treatment ct scan chest x ray sputum test ball test we are going uh, treatment we are giving prophylaxis uh, treatment and uh, some uh, fungal treatment late post uh, period we can see uh, bronchiolitis obliterans syndrome and bop and occurs mainly after the month or year of transplant so here we can see uh, fibros fibrotic uh, process then a fibrotic process uh, bronchial destruction will be there then scar tissues will um then alveolar involvement and small airway injury risk factors are chronic gvht metotrexate low immunoglobulin and ventilator support clinical manifestation uh, onset like 6 to 6 months to 2 years underlying process clinical features are like uh, we can see in dry cough wheezing shortness of breath and we can diagnose radiographic uh, studies diagnosis pft will do and ball test uh, biopsy and histology and uh, management uh, steroids uh, cyclosporin tacrolimus bronchio dilators outcome high mortality and uh, pulmonary transplant so here definition uh, non specific uh, inflammatory injury occurs less uh, common in bo diagnosis uh, pft and uh, hypoxemia we can see risk factors and management risk factors are uh, mass unrelated uh, transplants and chronic gvst long term usage of uh, tacrolimus treatment will use uh, pulsed uh, steroids for short term and supportive care uh, outcome high mortality rate clinical manifestation we can see same like uh, dry cough fever everything and uh, same 
fluffy uh, airway obstruction in radio radiological uh, investigation we can see onset will be day plus 3 to day plus 14 14 month and uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome so it is a life threatening uh, pulmonary condition caused mainly inflammatory or uh, injury and major causes like mortality so here we can see uh, etiology aspiration any food particles and uh, pneumonia infectious or I ips septic shock dha and uh, hello hello steven yes okay okay hepato renal syndrome we can see and a multi system organ failure and clinical manifestation uh, dyspnea tachypnea we can see and crackle sound uh, cyanosis will be there and patient will be having uh, fever and underly underlying process management uh, mechanical ventilator and supportive cares diagnosis will do same like uh, chest x ray ct scan uh, and pft uh, bronchoscopy uh, pulmonary biopsy so nursing assessment so so these all are the uh, sounds of the uh, lungs so according to this thing so we we, need, we can hear the sounds so and patient will be having cough through that we can identify nursing assessment and nursing assessment so we can give patient uh, increase uh, breathing and like breathing uh, exercise and we can identify uh, color of the skin lips and nail buds and breathing sounds and oxygen saturation we need to maintain nursing management uh, any uh, changes we need to immediately report to the doctors and uh, we need to change the patient uh, positioning changes and medication therapy and uh, any if any chest tubes are there we need to give uh, tube uh, care and education to the patient and uh, supportive cares conclusion uh, so here we discussed uh, infection categories like infection non infections risk factors we discussed uh, primary disease previous any radiation and conditioning regimen immunosuppression and gvst cmv uh, positive cmv and uh, detection and uh, promotion and management thank you Okay, Any thank you, Stephen. Any comments, questions? If not, uh, let's move on quickly to the poll. Let me select the right one. Okay. 